Okay, this is the old Wasoda S8 skate sharpener from 19, say, 46 to the, I believe, the late 80s. And I'll show what the minimum radius of hollow it's possible. 8 inch brand new disc, the minimum you can do is 1 and 3 fourths, 7 inch, 1 and a quarter, 6 inch, 3 fourths inch, the 5 inch disc is a quarter. Now, all this is because the pivot points again are right here. There's a four different little holes that are drawn. Three different holes on this side, the three on this side. And if you go look to where those lines project, the outmost holes here are right with this. This is what's up on this line. So that's the pivot point of the diamond holder. Diamond holder is adjustable, but the radius of curvature is only from these pivots to where the diamond is. Extend this out here. Now you can go ahead and move the pivots to be two different places here, and you have three different ones here. So you have six different combinations. But the way this works is to get a tight radius of curvature, you need to have the pivot points close to inside the disc, like on here. So the pivot point really needs to be out here in space. That's why a new a modern skate sharpener, uh, a more modern 911 one, has an adjustable piece, and the pivot is out here. So it's pivoting out here close to the edge of the disc because that's where the radius of curvature the pivot point has to be in here and that's how it is on a modern skate sharpener but anyways if you take like the S8 here and I've taken another 8 inch disc and just drawn this on here to explain here's where the pivot point is outmost the pivot point that's farthest away from the radius and it's two and a quarter inches so if you have a brand new disc that's 8 inches in diameter here, you take 8 inches, radius is 4, and you subtract off 2 and a quarter. That's what this is. That's from the center line of the motor hub to the line of action between this point and the one over here. So that's the minimum 1 and 3 fourths radius of curvature. Because whatever type of device you have that pivots along here, that's where it's going to be. So you have from this edge to here is one and three fourths. And it doesn't matter if you use the stock arm or you make your own. So one way to modify this is if you go through and have outboard extensions here and then you go ahead and you make your own pivot arm so you you're basically pivoting out here in space like this so you can have a tighter razor curvature. Or what you can do is you can use a worn out disc. Let's say a worn down disc. So if the disc is at 7 inches, now the radius of curvature still is a big one and a quarter. If the disc is down to 6, it's 3 fourths. You know, that's kind of a curvature that's more, more, in the, more in the modern era. Now there's going to be a limit to what you can run on a machine like this because you're going to run into where you know you got the housing here so on this type of machine as a disc wears you get down to where it's say six and a half and five you're down here three fourths and a quarter if it's five and a half of course it's going to be it uh, between the two numbers there and that's a uh, this is an eight inch disc it's a blade master but here we're talking about a Wasoda machine. This is a standard 8-inch disc for many different skate sharpeners. Um, the new Wasoda 911 uses a 7-inch disc with a different size hub, but that's a different story. But anyways, on here, one way to use a new, an older machine like this, or if you're making your own machine, is you want to have the pivot point out here. Because the whole radius of dressing, when this goes through and cuts this, the pivot point, if it's a half inch radius of hollow, of course it needs to be a half inch in from this edge. And just looking at this machine, you can see uh, it's way inboard because that's where the pivot points are. 
So if you bolt something onto this, bring it out, and then you use, uh, you know, make another arm like this, you can cut a more modern radius of hollow on an old uh, Wasoda S8 here. And this type of machine here has got a decent motor on it. It's got standard discs for the industry uses. Um, there's a little bit more vibration problems because compared to the new Wasoda units, uh, this particular machine, the Z height on it is actually the same. At least the one I'm measuring here is the same as a 911. It's about. It's close. Don't hold me to that, but uh, I don't know. This is only a sample of one of the old S8s, so who knows how many have been made, what variations. Well, the reason I did this video is somebody on a forum was talking about calculating what the radius of hollow is. And it doesn't matter where you put this thing on here. Uh, the radius of curvature is determined by where the diamond is to the pivot point. So you can put this all the way in to be tight. So this point is close to this line of action here. But then it's going to have to pivot out here in space about right here to go ahead and cut this tight radius. That's the old S8. It's one of the classical skate sharpeners that's been around for a long time. And they got a long life on them. And in the old era, they actually used a lot of these radius of curvatures or like this. Used to use one of these at a, a rink in California like this. Skated, sharpened a lot of skates with the unit like this.